Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. I want to do an updated video uh, of the SIG, Legion, uh, SIG P226 Legion, if I can even say the name right. I bought this pistol back in May or June, I believe, but the video wasn't really up to, up to par in my opinion, so I wanted to give you another video of this gun and also give you my initial impressions now that I'm close to a thousand rounds through this gun. Uh, the gun has been safety checked before filming, so uh, don't worry about any any, uh, any of that. So the P226 Legion is um, is every bit as amazing as I was expecting it to be when I first thought about picking up this gun. It is, of course, the P226 is the 9mm version, and as you can tell by the flat trigger, the flat gray gun's trigger, this is the single action only model, thus it has this external safety here, which is ambidextrous as well. Um, of course, some other highlights, just real quick, it also has the night sights, which are very well made, and they are easily identifiable in daylight conditions as well. G10 grips with the Legion medallion, Legion engraving on the top of the pistol, and overall, uh, just an amazing gun. It's also got a gray PVD finish, so um, just a little something extra to add to the overall quality and feel of the pistol. The fit and finish is amazing. It's exactly what you'd expect from a higher-end Sig Sauer. I would say it's exactly what you'd expect from Sig Sauer, but apparently with the P320 issues in the beginning of 2018 and then the P365 issues that are still going on, um, Sig is definitely tarnishing the reputation, but this pistol has performed flawlessly with the uh, initial 800 rounds that I have put through it. Also, in this video, since this is later on, I was able to get this case. Um, you get the case and the Legion coin, which is all purely cosmetic, but it's free, so I'm not going to not get it. <clears throat> but um, yeah, all this stuff comes for free with it when you pick up the pistol. It does come with three magazines. These are all loaded with my self-defense loads. I do also recommend picking up a Metgar uh, 18 plus 2 magazine obviously that's 20 for those of you keeping track at home but uh, it just gives you a little bit extra rounds uh, should you want that but these are 15 round magazines that come with it <clears throat> also this is a kt mech holster just pure kydex two belt loop system uh, extremely close carry to your body uh, if you carry this on the three o'clock or four o'clock position with an overshirt, uh, the full-size gun with a four and a half inch barrel disappears. So uh, KT Mech holsters, it's like thirty-five dollars, and then four or five dollars in shipping. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. It was a huge plus. I've actually had one of their holsters for my uh, old CZ when I had it, and uh, it performed flawlessly as well. So again, going back to the pistol, um, after eight hundred rounds, it has been uh, a dream to shoot. The trigger itself has also got me kind of addicted to flat face triggers. Let's give you some more close-ups of the pistol here. The uh, the flat face trigger, I thought it seemed like a pretty cool idea, but I wasn't you know entirely sold on if it would make a difference. And if your shooting is fundamentally horrid, then a trigger is not going to cover that up entirely. It may make it a bit easier, it may help you to get better, but initially you're not going to notice a difference. Even coming from a CZ uh, with a very, very curved, pronounced trigger, coming to this flat face trigger, I had to get used to it. Um, it also has a very, very light trigger reset, which I won't demo here, but uh, it's pretty much like a millimeter of travel and you're ready to fire off another shot. So, again, this pistol, could you, you know, get a pistol for cheaper that would meet your needs? Definitely. Is there some additional prestige and quality with the Legion? Also, definitely. Uh, it really depends how much you want to spend. Again, I got this for about 200 below retail, so it was $1,083, um, which again, for this pistol, regular P226s are about that much. So uh, again, I highly recommend it. I'll keep you updated, uh, maybe after I do a, a few more thousand rounds, many, many, many months and probably years from now. But so far, it has been flawless, and I highly recommend it. Thanks.